What if the Roman Empire industrialized? All of us recognize Rome as being one of the most advanced ancient civilizations of our world, and the longest lived, from the aqueducts, the Colosseum, to the famous legions who showed remarkable organization and discipline. It is no mystery why this empire is well known. Many wonder what if Rome somehow managed to industrialize? What if they somehow managed to develop the Industrial Revolution 2,000 years earlier? And today we are looking at one way this could have happened and some things that may happen in this alternate timeline. First, in short, the Industrial Revolution in our timeline happened primarily because of wealthy people in the British Isles who could invest in new production methods to replace manual labor and an outflow of cotton and other materials from their colonies in Africa. To make this happen in Rome, let's say a violent slave revolt breaks out, and somehow the slaves also gain support from several legions and citizens from amongst the empire, and the emperor is forced to abolish slavery in the central parts of the empire, that being Rome and Athens. Now those regions would need new ways of replacing manual labor, and at the same time, many people would migrate to these new no-slave regions, thus increasing the population and need for cloth and other materials. At first, materials would be imported from all over the empire, but local manufacturers and mines would still try to find a way to replace the holes left by the slaves. A very important person who can make this possible is Heron of Alexandria. He was an inventor who created the first steam engine, but in our timeline, it was nothing more than a toy. But let's say Heron or a successor of his discovered another use for this toy. With slavery abolished, mines and manufactories in Hellas and Italy start to struggle, so the steam toy could be used either as a mine steam engine to draw water out of mines, as a source of power for the textile manufactories, or even as an engine on merchant ships to bring materials faster to Rome and Athens. Either way, Heron or his successor become famous because of this invention, and the Industrial Revolution begins. The first use of the steam engine would appear, therefore, in one of these two regions as a necessity to increase productivity and replace manual labor. After this, a very rapid industrialization will take place, and it will most probably be contained inside the empire as it will be the only organized government which could sustain industrialization in Europe. The Romans wouldn't have guns because gunpowder wasn't invented yet. Chances are it won't be invented by the Romans because even in our timeline, it was created entirely by accident. <laughs> that doesn't mean that the Romans wouldn't develop new weapons. My guess is that their massive economy will let them develop other kinds of weapons, such as flamethrowers and extremely powerful crossbows, which would most likely take fill the role of guns as well as modernized versions of the Roman armor. What do you think the Romans would invent to modernize their military? Leave a comment down below on what you think. Some years later, a vehicle very similar to our train will be developed, and an extensive network of rails will be built in the Empire, akin to a spider web, of course Rome being the center. Trajan, the current emperor at the time who commanded the Empire during its Golden Age, would undoubtedly recognize the capabilities of these new machines and would probably expand railways across the entire empire to extend communications. More people will lead to more ideas and faster communication due to trains will lead to technologies developing at a very rapid pace, like it happened in our world. So what other technologies might develop? Telegraph, improved water supplies, improved sewage systems, the Bessemer process, electricity, breakthroughs in architecture, arts, chemistry, physics, maths, geography, geology, and so many more. The effects of early industrialization would not set us hundreds of years into the future. It would send us thousands of years into the future.
The Empire will become much more stable and centralized because communication to more external parts of the Empire will become much, much better and agricultural output will grow, causing an upward surge in population, making the Roman Empire probably the most populated country on Earth. This increased population growth leads to increased employment, more factories, more researchers, more inventions, and a dramatic change in the Empire's demographics. Once the Empire discovers the benefits of coal, it would realize that it needs to acquire more to continue the process of industrialization, so Britain and Western Germany will also become an important location for Rome because of the coal deposits there. Therefore, a fully conquered Britannia and Rhineland would not be out of the picture. As for defensive conquests, the Pannonian Basin could be conquered by the Romans because the Carpathians would be a great defensive barrier against invading tribes. All these advancements would lead to urbanization, with people from rural areas moving to the cities for work. Rome being already a metropolis by this time and the capital of the empire might become the first megalopolis by connecting to other cities around it. This economic growth will cause immense amounts of immigrants to flow into the empire from Germany, and migratory tribes which will cause more internal strife on the border regions, but at the same time, the benefits of the Industrial Revolution will allow the Empire to not break apart like it did in our timeline. The rise of the capitalist class from store owners and mine owners will pose a clear opposite to the aristocratic elite in Rome, and the Emperor will probably have a hard time trying to satisfy both groups. So, because of immense population growth, change in the political status quo, different ideas that will spring up, it is unsure if the Empire would survive as we know it. But since this was considered its golden age, it would probably last some 200, 300 years before something massive would happen, where multiple things could happen such as overthrowing the monarchy. The rebellion is destroyed by the elites. The empire collapses into multiple countries that won't unite back, but will stay Roman unlike in our timeline, because this new technology allows groups over large territories to keep their identity common. Anything really? This scenario can go either way as the Roman way of thinking would evolve in ways we couldn't imagine. Navally, we will see the creation of Roman steamships, which will lead to even more trade inside of the Mediterranean, also known to the Romans as Mare Nostrum. Grain and other types of food will be transported from Egypt to all over the empire, which will only allow the population to flourish even more. With an increased enthusiasm from sailors, we will probably see attempts to circumnavigate Africa, as well as the use of the Canal of the Pharaohs to get into Asia proper, which would start a new trade route that could lead to China and allow the industrial expansion to take place there as well. There is a possibility that Romans would also discover America during this time, as some merchants could possibly try to find a quicker route to China or India to gain an edge on other merchants. If so, they would probably land somewhere on northern Brazil establish a new colony there. The Native Americans would not be so affected by European diseases in this timeline as there are a thousand years of time where diseases didn't develop, but still they would have to face a continent-spanning empire that is also specialized in fighting tribes and kingdoms like the ones in America so more likely than not. The Roman would conquer regions that they deem important in the Americas and trade with the rest of the continent. The Romans were expert colonizers, with this new technology, they will probably start creating outposts and settlements all over the world. All in all, an industrial revolution would mean that the Roman Empire would enter a golden age and be the undisputed superpower on the planet for a while at least.